Well, first, I, I to, um, I'm the chief operating officer, and I'll tell you why that's important, is that this technology, this is exoskeleton technology, and it was born um, out of Professor Hamayun Kazaruni's Human Engineering and Robotics Lab out of the University of California at Berkeley. And it started in 2010 with his, he, he and his graduate students started working on it. And there are two sides of the company. One is the medical side, one is the industrial side. They started working on it in 2010. We incorporated the company in 2014. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to show you the medical exoskeleton and then a little bit of the, the um, industrial one. So Rahid is going to show you the um, medical exoskeleton. So go ahead. The company is in Emeryville, just off, across the bridge. And so this is for a completely paralyzed person. There are about 10,000 spinal cord injuries every year in the United States and 3 million wheelchair users in the United States, about 800,000 stroke uh, victims every year. And so this exoskeleton has two versions. One is completely adjustable for the Rehab Institute, and the, um, the physical therapist can, with an application, uh, control the device for gait therapy and for rehabilitation of someone. And then uh, a customized version can actually be taken home with that person. Now, this isn't on the market yet. Our version, we're in the uh, FDA regulatory path. We are doing clinical trials in January, and then we expect to have our FDA clearance in um, early 2018. Um, so that's the, the medical exoskeleton. The, um, and we also have an industrial exoskeleton, which is equally as exciting. The, um, Chase is our head of sales, and he's going to demonstrate a little bit about what the, um, the industrial exoskeleton can do. So starting 2010, uh, we've been to job sites around the world, construction, shipbuilding, logistics, aerospace. Um, and so this is, we call it the MAX, Modular Agile Exoskeleton. So it is comprised of three different components. So we have an arm exoskeleton, we call it the shoulder X. And what this is doing is providing support at my shoulder joint. Um, so up to 15 pounds per arm. So you know, let's say that I was a mechanic and I'm working overhead or I'm a welder and I have to hold my weld. This is basically supporting my arms for an infinite time. And I can easily move around and it's, no, it's not inhibiting any movement. Uh, we also have the back X, which these can be worn together. Um, so the back X, we're working with airline baggage handlers who move about 20,000 20, pounds of luggage per eight hour shift. And so what it's doing when I go to pick up a box, it's taking about 30 pounds of force off my back. Um, so any pick and place operations that you could think of uh, is an application that we're looking at. And then the last module is the leg X. Um, and so this is supporting me when I squat. Um, so I like to think of it as a slingshot. When I go to squat down, it's taking all my weight on the device. And then when I come back up, it's providing, you know, it's giving it back to me. So that's one feature, and then we also have the chairless chair mode. So now I can sit, and it's holding my weight completely. And those are the three different aspects that you could wear them just by itself or together. So about 90% of the worker injuries are at one of these three joints, the shoulders, the lower back, or the knees. And so this not only prevents injuries, but it also um, enhances their capabilities because it allows them to pick up things that they might not otherwise, and it also makes them less fatigued during the day so that they, by the end of the day, they are less tired, and if you're less tired, you'd be more, more productive. And one of the things that has been the kind of the the, the, what we call the competitive advantage of our company is we're trying to make these as accessible as possible. If you look at the, the medical exoskeleton, there are, some, there are a few other um, exoskeletons on the market, and they range in price between $75,000 to $120,000 for, for a model. And we're expecting this to go on the market at about a third of the most cheapest one. So we, are, we really are targeting the, to make this accessible for people that actually, actually need it. And the same thing with the, um, um, with the industrial exoskeleton. We have worked very hard to make it as modular as possible so that we can take them apart. Even on the medical exoskeleton, it's designed so that a person can wear it in their wheelchair and they can put it on and take it off themselves. 
without, um, without having to have someone else to assist them, which is really important in terms of independence. If you're going to drive somewhere, you don't want to have someone else need to be there in order to get you into your device. And so the person can detach the legs and put them in the back seat of the car, and then uh, when they get where they're going, they just strap it on themselves. Um, the, as I said, the, we expect to go to market with the uh, medical exoskeleton in early 2018, once we have FDA um, regulatory clearance. But the industrial exoskeletons, we're actually launching those next month. And so they'll be available to many different industries. We, we've gone to airlines for airline baggage handling. Uh, in fact, we are doing a demonstration today f on airline baggage handling later this afternoon. Construction companies are really interested, uh, utility companies, mining companies. Um, it's just we, we are targeting about 12 different industries, and we think that we are just at the beginning of making uh, workers more productive. It, also, in, if you look at Japan, we, we've done some studies in Japan where the average construction worker is 52 years old in Japan. And so when you look at what um, the, um, how quickly you can recover from an injury and you're um, um, wanting to prevent injuries, you can't always do the things when you're 52 as you could do when you were 22. And so it's going to be very important to be able to protect uh, workers, make sure they're safe. So we're going to be over in the innovations lab um, for the whole day. I would really encourage you to come and, and, um, and see us. We can tell you more detail about how the medical exoskeleton works and why, how, we, how it is that we can make it for a third the cost of other people. Um, and if you'd like to try on the industrial um, uh, exoskeleton to see what you can actually enhance yourself with, uh, we'd be happy to um, let you try it on. So thank you very much.